Hi friends, we are at Sports Dungle and we are with Denzel Franco. Denzel Franco, Indian footballer. Welcome Denzel. Thank you Ambe. Denzel has been uh, playing football for a lot of years now and uh, been uh, playing for India, for Goa. So I will come straight to the point, I will not waste much time. Denzel is a well-known figure in Goa. Denzel, uh, let's shoot it out straight away. Tell me how you started with football. Uh, Ambe, I think uh, uh, it's it's a very uh, old uh, uh, thing that I, I always, I've been sharing this in the past also with you. But uh, yes, I love to share it with uh, the people who want to know about my career. And it all started from my uh, father. My dad was a football player in back in Mumbai in those days, uh, somewhere in 60s and 70s, you know. And uh, we are seven siblings, so he wanted one of his uh, child to be into this wow, beautiful wow, game. Wow, wow. And that's where it all started. And uh, I was a Lutz Convent uh, student where uh, it was until 6th standard that I studied there. And then post to that, I was introduced to Montedigiri School, okay. uh, which had a rich football history where we have uh, seen players like Bruno Coutinho and Mahesh Gaulis and all those players. So I think that's where my father found that the right place for me to develop my skills. And uh, Montigiri is where my journey of football started from my under-14s, under-12s and under-14s. And post to that, I went on to play for Cesar Football Academy. In between, there are football academies like Asaka Anjana Football Academy. There is Dempo Sports Club Youth gra uh, Grassroot Program. Wow. And uh, Cesar was the platform that gave me uh, f uh, the life that it, that I'm living today, okay. the platform that I'm uh, that I got today, okay. and I think post to that I have played for, to the most prestigious clubs in Indian football. How did how did it how did it, how did it all go? Like you know, what was your first feel like when you started playing for Goa or, or start for school? How was it all started? Uh, like it was a, 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 a fruitful journey. Okay. For me, I I never put pressure on myself, okay. and that was that is what always my father spoke to me and uh, imbibed in me that never put pressure on you, okay. just go with the flow. Love the uh, love and passion for the game is what is going to give you results, and I think that's exactly what I did. There was a lot of dedication, uh, sacrifices, and hard work, okay. and with that we we achieved uh, along with my father's support. I achieved what I achieved today in life. Danzil, coming back to my next question is that when did you play first for Goa? I started playing for Goa uh, in my early under 15s. That oh. was my first experience playing for Goa, and uh, uh, wow. it, it was an achievement that uh, every every player dreams of. Okay. You know, every player wants to play for the state. Every player wants to play for the country. Okay. So my f first experience was playing for the Goa under uh, under 15 state team, okay. and then uh, later on to under 19s and under 23s. Okay. So I think that was a progressive uh, uh, results that I've got from under 15s to under 19s, under 19s to. Uh, playing under 23 and then playing for the Goa. Uh, so that was, uh, when was it uh, you played Santosh Trophy? I played Santosh Trophy in 2009 for the senior team. Santosh okay. Trophy tournament is mostly for the senior team. Yeah. So that was my first tournament in 2009 uh, playing under Mauricio Afonso and wow. uh, Peter Wallis as you a coach. Were a junior that time. I was uh, a young player in that team at that point of time. In the, uh, I was in my. Uh, so what was the outcome of that first time of your Santosh Trophy? Uh, Did you all win it or we, lost it we had a very good tournament. Uh, you can say it was in Jammu Kashmir, but okay. then. Uh, we needed a draw against Karnataka ah. and we lost that match oh. uh, due to a uh, lot of uh, other factors. Okay. You know, football is sometimes losing and winning, but we learn a lot about from that game. Yeah, uh, being playing under Mauricio is, is, a, is a big experience playing for Santos Trophy at that time. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay, and how was it? Then how did you get into the Indian team? Indian team, uh, of course, as, as I said, it's, it's a dream for every player to play for the country, and uh, it was my father's dream to make sure that. Uh, I play for the top clubs in Indian football and play for the country and I finally achieved it in, in 2008 when I got my first call playing for, uh, uh, while I was in sporting club, the Goa. I got a call from the national team, uh, coach Bob Houghton was our uh, wow, wow. Uh, head coach and that's where uh, I think it was a journey where I got to meet players like Bai Cheng Bhutia, Renati Singh, Climax Lawrence, these were the players that I looked up at on TV and I think uh, they were big motivation for me. Which was that year and which was the tournament? Uh, in 2008, it was a, a long camp which was coming up, uh, a, tr a trip to Portugal where we went for almost 45 to uh, two months uh, camp. Oh. And this was a, a long uh, uh, camp where Bob Houghton would normally take the Indian team to Europe. Okay. 
to have an exposure in European uh, countries with the European teams. Okay. And I think that's where uh, we were building for the Asian Cup okay. in for the 2011. Okay. And my journey started with the Indian national team. I did my debut in 2011 against Malaysia wow. in the Asian Games. Okay. But I was part of the concept okay. since 2008. You were on the bench. I was, I was mostly... Understudy, understudy. I was a young player, uh, but I was always kept, uh, kept uh, in the team to make sure that I was also gaining experience in the team. Wow. Share us some more nice experiences of your... How many caps you have played, how many goals, what, what was your experience, what is your best game? Tell us something about your Indian experience. I have uh, played for India under 23 in the SAF Cup in Bangladesh, okay. which we won against uh, Maldives in the okay. finals. Okay. So if you remember, prior to that tournament, India played Maldives in the finals. The senior Indian team played, played Maldives in the finals in Maldives and they lost uh, the finals. Okay. The next uh, South Cup, it was uh, the under Indian 20. under-23 which was uh, introduced and we had coach uh, Sukhvinder Singh at that point of time. Okay. And I think uh, the same Maldives team which defeated India was part of the tournament with the senior squad and we had the under-23 under team which defeated the, the same uh, Maldives team in the finals. So it was a great achievement for, for the under-23 and I think it was a good start-up for uh, my career and the entire team which played, went on to play for like most of the players went on to play for the bigger clubs in Indian football. Denzel, you have been playing for India. How many caps you have got for India now? I have uh, played 19 times for okay. the national team. Okay. Because as you know, Indian football doesn't have too many matches coming up their way. Correct. So Correct. In that uh, phase of 2011 to 2014, I okay. had 19 caps for the national team. Did you play World Cup qualifiers? Uh, I was part of the camp but then due to injuries I couldn't make Asia it, uh, Cup qualifiers I was Asian Asia. games yeah, that, was the, that was the one when I did my debut in 2011 in okay. Malaysia against Pakistan okay coming back what was your role in the uh, did your role of uh, positioning change when you played for Goa to uh, go to India no, uh, my roles as a player changed from during my grassroots, from under 19s, under 15s. It was always I was I started as a goalkeeper, then I became oh. a, a striker. Then uh, in tempos, uh, Coach Mauricio felt that I was a good midfielder. When I joined Cesar Football Academy, Coach Viswas felt that I was a good defender. And finally, my the ultimate uh, position that I played my entire career was career was uh, the right wing back, right, right wing. where uh, Coach Marian Dias felt that I was a very good attacking uh, defender and that's when he introduced me in the India, uh, Goa under-19 team as a right back and that is where I, s I was stuck to and until my end, end of the career. You talked of your father, uh, of your influence on the football, what you have started and all. Yeah. Tell us something more about family involvement, how you, uh, your family, what gets involved in it. My uh, family has been very supportive. I mean, uh, we are coming from a middle class family and uh, you know, uh, olden days, uh, at least during my younger days, now kids get all the opportunities. They have the best facility to train on the ground. They have everything available. But during those days, it was not that easy for us. You know, my family supported me in a, in a big way, especially my uh, brother who is uh, in, in uh, Kuwait. He's working there now for the last 30 years and uh, he he helped me a lot to, uh, he motivated me and supported me in a big way. My father, uh, besides my father, my mother, who has always been my support, uh, inspiration and uh, a, a person who looked up whatever was back home, you know. And uh, then of course my sister Zamila, uh, my other sister Doreen and all the other siblings, they always gave me a supporting hand and as I am the last son, uh, child of the family they pampered me a lot but make, made sure that everything was in so had a full package family backing you up. i had a full family package <laughs> family yeah, yeah, support yeah. backing for me tell me something about isl isl experience that was something a lot of things you played for fc goa then went to kolkata a lot of things yeah so isl was something uh, i turn up for indian football and uh, it really helped me to uh, gain showcase myself and at the same time learn more of football i mean we we were introduced to players from uh, europe where we didn't have this quality of like Luis Garcia who played in the Liverpool squad wow. who played for Barcelona he ha he was a captain in the ATK team so wow. we could learn from this type of players I played against uh, with Lucio in FC Goa I played with Helder Postica the main striker of Portugal who has played given uh, bl brought laurels to Portugal national team so having played with this type of players and Del Piero in Delhi like you know again rubbing shoulders with this type of players and defending such players I think uh, it was a big experience for me as a Indian player and I I hope that Indian players and our Goan players try to grab some things positive from this ISL. ISL, yeah. ISL. How was your move going from uh, FC Goa to Kolkata? What was it like? 
No, it was from Calcutta to FC Goa. Ah, you came from Calcutta to Goa. Yeah, so the first uh, ISL that happened in 2014, I was the first Goan player picked up by Calcutta team. Wow. And Mohan Bagan, ATK, uh, it was not Mo ATK Mohan Bagan then, it was ATK uh, Atletico Madrid. Okay. So I think uh, that's, that's the team that uh, uh, picked me up first in the uh, ISL draft. And I think I played there for two consecutive years. Uh, there were ups and downs in the season in between where I got my ACL tear. But uh, yeah, all thanks to the club that they stood by me. They supported me and uh, I, I respect them for that. And they also respected me for the work that I had given. Although I played very minimum matches in both the seasons. But I gained a lot of experience in this tournament, in this uh, team. And what is your experience of FC Goa? FC Goa, uh, I couldn't play much. Uh, the reason is because of the injury. And as you know, uh, I am I'm, uh, very disheartened for this because in Goa we don't have this uh, uh, good place for rehab, uh, rehab. rehab, you know. So, so, so there are so many players who get injured and they ultimately have to go to South India or they have to go to Mumbai. And, and it was my dream to also see that something like that happens in Goa. Hopefully, God, Hopefully God willing, you're, you're on, yeah. we, we get something like that in Goa. I will go to Denzel's core now. Some snapshots, very touchy questions. Yeah. Tell me some of your cherished moment, most cherished moment in life. Uh, if you're talking about football, since we're talking about football, I think uh, winning... Anything, anything. Winning, your cherished uh, moment in life. Winning, winning uh, trophies for the country, there is nothing more than achieving a, for a sportsman, winning trophies for the country, that is the Nehru Cup in 2012 and the SAF Cup in 2009. Oh, yeah, so it was, it was my biggest achievement in my career. And of course, I have uh, a great respect to one man who has given to Goan football and Indian football a lot, Mr. Churchill Aremo. Okay. And uh, I had this privilege of playing for uh, well, Churchill Brothers well, Sports Club uh, for almost four seasons. And they always treated me as their family and I always respect them for what they, they have done for me. Denzel, tell me some of your experience with uh, Goan Club's uh, Churchill Brothers. I think I have achieved, not I, but the entire team achieved to give them back the I-League. The second consecutive time uh, I-League, we won the Federation Cup with Churchill Brothers, uh, Duran Cup, IFA Shield. So, the most of the most prestigious uh, cups in the country and uh, in my uh, uh, home, which I have the trophies with, with me, I think I achieved with Churchill Brothers in the club level. And uh, of course, uh, winning the first ISL with ATK uh, Calcutta, it was also a dream come true because ISL was a big hype at that point of time. Now, I see that it's uh, that hype which was there is slowly dropping, which I urge the fans of Indian football to keep it up. You know, because what we saw at one point of time, FC Goa was stadium was flooded at uh, Fadoda Stadium. Today we see lack of uh, supporters coming at the stadium. So I want these fans to continue that uh, charm so that, you know, every player, as a player I know, when I see the uh, stadium packed and I see there is uh, thousands of people supporting you, I think I can give my uh, performance even more. So this is what we need to give back to the players when the players are performing for you. Which is the saddest? Uh, Saddest is when I lost my uh, main person in my life, my father, who was my big support. What is that one thing you would like to change in this world, in the sports or whatever fraternity? I want uh, better facilities for every sports personality who is post-retirement, struggling at times. You know, most of them are struggling, so I want the authority authorities to give them the best facilities. Your role model? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano, you keep a, you fancy a look of Mauricio Alfonso during his younger days. Huh? I, I, I like to say that because you are a fan of, you have been under Mauricio Alfonso. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, mountains or sea? Always mountains because we are, we live in a place called uh, the sun, sea and, uh, you know, land. So I think uh, uh, going to mountains every summer holidays or break, I prefer going to mountains. I prefer mountains. FC Go or FC Kolkata? FC Kolkata. <laughs> I like that since your answer. Uh, Goa or India? India. That's nice. I want to ask you something on the of, of your forecast, what you're planning in future, what you're doing. You are doing academy, we are on your academy and how it all started. Uh, for me, uh while I was playing, it was always my dream to give back to the Indian football, what what I have achieved. So I think uh, football has made me what I am today. If everyone knows Denzel Franco is only because of football. You remove football out of me and nobody will know what Denzel Franco is all about. So I want to give back to the game and how do I give back? There are many players who have retired and they are giving back through coaching or to, uh, uh, through management. But I prefer 
not by coaching but but giving my myself back to the game through grassroots and uh, and run a successful football school and at the same time i make sure that every child that comes on the setup is going to gain some knowledge that i have earned in my entire career and that's where i have in, introduced my uh, football school called denzel franco football school in in the center at sangolda football football ground and uh, i have a good team of uh, uh, management who who is supportive who is very encouraging me to to take it further and i think uh, this is where my my dream is to make sure that we have many more players from goa to to be playing for the indian football team you are doing it exactly what's required for goa and great show uh life is done almost you are almost there getting retired you are talking about things like that uh how many points on 10 for your life achievements i think i'm very satisfied and happy and uh, i don't regret a single about my uh, whatever i have achieved and not achieved i am happy that i have achieved my father's dream that was to play for the national team and play the top clubs and of course along with that win the trophies and i think besides that i am very much happy with uh, with my uh, life that is going on over here so how much uh 10 on 10 wow that's great any advice you would like to give for the youngsters or the generation of sports or any generation yeah i would like to tell the youngsters especially you know i cannot be uh, giving this advice to the senior players or senior people uh, around but my youngsters uh, advice that is always go- is like be humble in life be simple what coach teaches you on the field is what you need to get it uh, on 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 the on a match day or a training if you try to be over smart in doing something which is not required that's where you'll falter so make sure that you respect your coaching uh, department yes of course it is right that when you are playing a match you do something of your own but your studies what you learn from the coaches uh, uh, side i think you have to keep it strong and uh, play along with that very precise advice and uh, nice having you danzel uh, for uh, with this uh, dangal on me uh, dangal on prime tv thank you very much thank you so much that was danzel franco a indian footballer who has done lot for indian football goan football isl uh, dangal is rocking nice to have everybody watching it keep watching dangal <laughs>